Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be checking out a signal detector. So this is a device that can detect radio waves, magnetic waves, and also has a little trick on how to see cameras. So the one I got here is made by a company called Craftronics. I think this is a, a rebrand of probably a bunch of different kind. And it is the K18 model. And this is the package that it comes in, nothing too special. What the device looks like. So let's go ahead and lay it down and open it up. So it does have a little magnetic door. And this is how it comes packed. So we got the device itself. That's in a little baggie. Antenna. Some foam. It looks like an instruction booklet. It is in English and there's quite a bit of information here on how to use it. So it could be useful if you want to read up on it. And it looks like we do have another layer of all our accessories. Which includes the magnetic wand. And also we get a charger with a little cable for the detector. Go ahead and pull this guy out. And this is what it looks like. So yeah, it's a handheld. So here we have some LED bars for signal strength, a couple buttons, a pass-through glass that's specially coated to see in cameras and lenses. On this side, we have the charge port. The bottom is clean. The other side is also clean. And this is what the back looks like. These are LEDs here. And on the top, we have a knob. And this is to control the sensitivity and power it on. In the middle is where we're going to connect the GS probe and then the antenna here for the frequencies. So let's go ahead and do that. Put the antenna on here so it just screws right on. For the probe we just got to line it up so it fits and it should click in. And then we're going to secure it with the washer. And the probe wiring is like a hard flexible cord here that you can adjust to you know form that you need it. And we can see there at the end we do have like a little LED light. All right, so let's see if this thing has power. So to turn it on, we just twist this knob on the top. And sure enough, it lights up. So it starts up automatically in the MS, which is the high frequency. As we adjust this knob higher and higher, you guys can see the little graph there. It gets more sensitive. So the higher up it goes, the more sensitive it is. And if we go all the way up, it's going to be extremely sensitive. So you can see there, as I turn it, it starts to pick up something more and more. So let's leave it about right there. So it's, you know, quite aware, you know, but not beeping yet. And so right now we're using our antenna here to find any kind of RF. So let's start with the basic here is my phone. We're going to set it down and see if this thing reacts to it at all. I'm going to go ahead and turn on some kind of video here. And we'll see if this detector can detect anything. And as you guys can see when I get closer. And it seems to be picking something up. I'm going to take out the probe for now. Make sure that that's not interfering. But yeah, it doesn't seem to do much here on my phone, even as the video is playing. It is beeping someone, but it's not really indicating anything more than that. So let's see how it reacts if I just kind of move it around it. But overall, it doesn't seem to do much here. So I'm going to put the probe back on here because I want to see if it reacts to the probe. So to change to the GOS, you just hold the M button. And eventually this light comes on on this side. And now we're using this guy as the sensor. So it seems not to react to the phone at all. Now I do have a little magnet here. You guys can maybe see it. Let's see if it'll react to that. And you guys can see here as I bring the magnet closer to it. It triggers it off. Now let's see if adjusting does anything. The adjuster doesn't have anything to do with the sensitivity of this part of it. So it does seem to pick it up pretty good about an inch away from the probe. And this little tiny magnet here. So. so right now I'm not sure what to think about this thing, if it's working or not, because it's not picking up my phone at all. So I'm going to try a few other things and see what this thing can react to. Alright, so there's a Wi-Fi behind me there, so let's get closer and see. Okay, yeah, so it definitely picks up Wi-Fi router. And it's picking up like in, in waves. As we go away from it, it stops. So it works for that. So I'm kind of curious if this will work for a wireless game controller. So let's bring it in and see what happens. Okay, yeah. So it is reacting to that. And that's Bluetooth. Let's see if the console itself reacts to it. So far, nothing. Oh, wait. Something right here. Okay, so it does pick it up. Must be a uh, Bluetooth. So we can try it on the TV. I think somewhere around here behind the screen, there's the control panel. Okay, it's picking up something. So yeah, right around this area here. There we go. So I got some Apple Pros here. Let's see what happens if I open them. And there it goes, look at that. 
Going crazy. Close it. And there it turns off. Look at that. So yeah, it picks up Bluetooth very well. And a lot of electronics run off of Bluetooth these days, so that's a plus for this thing. All right, so I want to try to open the laptop here and see if that's going to react. Okay, so it is kind of starting to beep here. Yeah, it definitely is. So it's probably the Bluetooth in the laptop. Well, let's see what happens when we turn the Bluetooth off. Oh, look at that. It went away. So yeah, it mostly picks up Bluetooth, not even really Wi-Fi because the Wi-Fi is on right now. And it is chirping a little bit, but it's mostly the Bluetooth. All right, so as we saw there, the Bluetooth is picked up quite easily with this thing. So let's go to the Gauss meter. We're just going to hold this button, the M, and it goes to the GS, and that is the this sensor here. So this is going to sense anything magnetic. So let's see if we can find anything magnetic around the house. So one thing I know is magnetic is the security system here. It usually has a little magnet in there. So let's see if this thing will... And look at that. It's actually working. And you guys can see there's a little light there, so... Hmm, I think this is a feature for locating hidden GPS devices. So we need to find maybe a GPS and see if it actually works. But before we do that, let's try it on a speaker here. Since it's magnetic, it should technically find it. So let's get, and sure enough, it does. So anything that's magnetic, this thing will pick it up. Well, let's try the sound bar here. Sure enough. Yeah, so there's a speaker here and a speaker over there. So if you want to find speakers, this could do it. So here we are in a car that has a rear view mirror with GPS. You guys see the GPS module right there. And if we grab the detector and go all around the GPS part, it doesn't do anything. So I'm not too sure if this thing is sensitive enough to pick that up, but it's definitely not picking it up now. And I know the GPS is on because we have the miles per hour right there. So maybe let's go back to radio frequency. So yeah, still nothing for the GPS. So I'm not sure exactly. Maybe the car has to be running for it to be activated. But the way it is, it doesn't seem like this thing's picking it up. But since this thing does have Bluetooth, it does pick that up. And so for the last feature is this site here. Now you guys can see my finger through the other side. And the way you use this is you gotta activate these LEDs here in the back. So you're gonna hit this button here. And that's going to turn them on. So if you keep holding it, you can see it blinks. And if you just keep holding the button, it goes faster and faster. And so the reason you want it to blink is because you can identify a little bit easier trying to find a hidden camera. Now the way this works is not anything special. It just reflects the lens of the camera and makes you kind of see it a little bit. Or a lot better than you would be able to do it with just your eye. So let's go ahead and go inside of here. So now we're looking through this lens here. And if you guys maybe can see... I got my phone there and you can see how the lenses they really pop out like there's these two little bright lights hopefully I got focus on that thing but yeah you can tell how the lenses kind of pop out as little dots and this is what this does and this is how you you know like walk, look around uh, looking through this thing and seeing like a reflection of a lens popping back at you as like a little star like a little bright point so what you're looking at right there is a webcam on my monitor and you can see how it really stands out as a dot. And this is pretty much summarizes how this thing works. So here I am pointing it at a normal point and shoot camera and you guys can see how the lens reflects that dot right in the middle. And also we can see that little sensor there on the side of the camera also is really revealing itself. And I think that's some kind of light sensor there. So. So hopefully this makes sense of how this feature works and it works best when it's darker than brighter because when it's bright it's kind of harder to see. So I got the detector on charge and you guys can probably see there's a little red light there indicating that it's charging. So once it's full it'll probably turn off or turn green. But yeah, I definitely like that it does come with an internal battery that you can recharge. So yeah, this is the RF detector by Craftronic. So it does seem to work pretty okay for certain things, especially Bluetooth. If you want to find Bluetooth, this thing seems to be very sensitive to that. And anything magnetic, it does pretty well as long as the magnet is a reasonable size. I couldn't get it to work for that one GPS unit that I had, but that could have been just user error there. So yeah, overall seems like a pretty useful tool if you're trying to find mostly Bluetooth. And the site here, as we saw, it works okay, but you know, this is something that you have to find yourself instead of it finding it for you. So this could be quite 
useful if you're on the road and you're you know paranoid about certain things this could help you find cameras and little bluetooth devices hidden around the place and technically this should be able to find gps but i didn't have much luck with that anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did then hit that like button if you want to pick up this detector for yourself i'm going to leave some links in the description check it out and if you enjoy videos like this and you want to see more then stay tuned and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one peace